Okay, so I've done about 70 mod showcases on my channel, but I've never actually done a mod installation tutorial. So my friend actually sent it to me the other day and it just got me thinking, wow, why haven't I done this before? I'm pretty sure I've thought of it a few times and I just never got around to it. So yeah, I'm going to show you today how to install Minecraft mods because for new players, I've learned that they don't really know how to do this and I'm surprised because it's actually quite a simple thing. So today I'm going to be quickly going through how you can actually install mods yourself into your Minecraft world. So the first step is to go to the link I'll have down in the description of the video to this website here which is Minecraft Forge. And Minecraft Forge is basically a software which allows you to use different mods in a mods folder in cooperation with each other. So, so what you want to do is you want to click the link down in the description and it'll bring you to this website and as you can see on the left side here, whichever version of Minecraft you need Forge for, so whichever mod version you're using, basically that kind of stuff. So it'll say usually on the mod page whichever version the mod requires. So let's say it requires 1.12, as you can see this downloads for 1.12 here, if it needs 1.14 you can go 1.14 here, same thing with 1.13, 1.11, all the way down to 1.1, which you're never going to use because trust me, no mods go back that far um, on current websites. So yeah, so the older ones you're going to find, usually it's going to be down to 1.7. That's kind of the oldest one you'll usually come across. And then 1.8 is kind of um, the really one used for servers. Uh, so you get where I'm going with this. So basically, yeah. As you can see, there's a Windows installer, there's an installer. I don't know how to do this on Mac, to be honest, because I don't have a Mac, I have a Windows PC. So if you want to do it on Mac, I'm afraid I can't help you there. But I would assume it's just the universal file uh, right here, or maybe the installer like this. I don't know, it's it's probably very straightforward still. I mean, it can't be much more complicated. So as you can see, it says download latest and download recommended. I would say download recommended because I tried this one and it would not work for me. Literally, it would not launch my Minecraft. So I would say download the recommended version because I think this is like beta or something. So... Whichever version you want, I'm going to go 1.14.3 right here. And um, yeah, so you can actually go down to all versions as well. And it has a complete list of every version of uh, Forge. But I would just say go for the latest or recommended because those are usually the best ones. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to get the download recommended for Windows installer right here. Uh, so I'm going to click this and it will start downloading a file. And it's usually about four or five megabytes. It's not too big, honestly. So once your file is downloaded, you can see it's just uh, finishing. The ring will go in a second there. And, and there we go, the file is now finished downloading and we can just simply left click it. Or if it's in your downloads folder, you can go into your downloads folder and double click and it'll open this. And as you can see, the publisher can, don't worry about this. This literally just, it's just Windows being strange. And um, it just, it just sets off the Defender for some reason. I don't know why. It's completely safe. Trust me. And um, it like, they literally, like this company has been using the software for years. They are so, so safe. I cannot stress how safe this is. Like it literally will not harm your PC in any way, shape or form. I promise you that. So run this. And when you click run, it'll open this little prompt here. So we have mod system installer, which is for Forge. As you can see, it specifies, specifies the version here. And we have the option to install client, install server, or extract. Extract is for when you want to uninstall it. So I would say you install client, unless you want to run a Minecraft server, then you would do install server. Or if you want to get rid of the version, you can extract it. So we're going to do install client for this one. I'm not going to do it because I already have this installed and it'll just mess things up. So yeah, you can also change your Minecraft directory right here. So the usual one is in C users, uh, your username app data roaming and then slash dot minecraft so that's the regular dot minecraft folder you probably know already but yeah it, it sets up by default so you're fine basically you're fine and then you want to just click OK, and it'll do downloading libraries, considering library, all this kind of stuff, uh, just installing all your Minecraft assets, that kind of thing. And there we go. The version is now installed. So once your Forge is installed, you need to run whichever version you installed for. You need to run that version at least once. So let's say it's 1.12.2. You need to have already ran that version at least once before, and then it'll install properly. So open your Minecraft launcher and then go over to installations. This is the new launcher, by the way. Uh, so go from play to installations up here. And as you can see, this is a list of all of your Minecraft versions. So this has all the profiles for your Minecraft versions. Like I have a bunch, like I have way too many to be honest. Um, but yeah, this is just the basic one. So I would say make a new one, like make, make a brand new one. So I'm just going to name this one tutorial. Um, tutorial. There we go. And um, so you can set up your resolution, all that kind of stuff. But we're just going to go straight for the version here. So as you can see, there's a list of all your versions in this drop down. So go find your Forge version, the one you just installed. So you can check the number, all that kind of stuff. I have a few of them, so it's going to be kind of confusing. Uh, but yeah, basically, this is all of the... Um, the Forge versions, they're usually down the bottom of the list. So this is the one we just installed right here, or whichever one of these it was. So just click that, and then you can do Create. 
and now it should be down the bottom of your list. Yeah, there we go right now. So you can um, set it to, you can go to play and you can change it to that version or you can just do it manually from the installation. So there we go. And now you can launch this and Forge should be installed when you open your Minecraft. But now for the part you all want to actually see. So this is how you get to your .minecraft folder and your new mods folder because when you install Forge, it automatically installs a mod folder in your .minecraft. Whichever directory you chose, it will install a mods folder there. So we want to do, so you want to do percent app data percent and as you can see it brings up this folder right here so now it brings up your roaming folder and you want to go to dot minecraft right here so this is my dot minecraft folder now you want to go down till you find mods and here's a list of all of your mods right here but of course when you open it you won't see any mods because it'll be a completely blank folder you will have just installed it so what you want to do is you want to go and find your mod whichever mod you want to choose literally anything uh, i've just optifine here for an example so it's in my downloads folder right here we can grab optifine and drag it right into the mods folder and now your mod is installed so when you launch minecraft next time your mod should be there and um, it will be there if you did everything correctly so we're going back to our minecraft launcher and we're launching whichever version we installed forge into and you can tell Forge is loading because you'll get this kind of cool interface up here. So you'll see memory used and you'll also see all of your loading resources, reloading, initializing and this kind of stuff. Basically, it's just all the stuff that you don't see when vanilla Minecraft launches. It has a bunch of like loading bars, that kind of thing. So as you can see, four mods loaded. Now with Forge, it will always show three mods loaded no matter what. If you don't have any mods installed yourself, it'll always show three mods loaded anyway. Uh, but because we've Optifine, it's doing four. So there's an extra one in there. So we can go to mods right here. And as you can see, we have our three regular mods part of Forge. And if we go back and video settings, we can see we have all the Optifine settings, which means Optifine is installed all right down here. So that is basically how you can install Minecraft mods. I hope this was of some use to you. If you have any queries at all, literally let me know in the comment section and I will try to help you out as best as I can. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.